I'm going to go over my skincare routine. I was in Asia and uh, Singapore for about a month uh, during the summer and that really sort of updated my whole skincare routine and I feel I've seen massive benefits since I updated it so I just want to share with you guys um, what, I'm, what products I'm using and how I use them. So I've always done this uh, thing, which is which now more people know about the double cleanse. Um, and I think Koreans are known for the double cleanse. But I've always done it because I would notice that washing my face once wouldn't take off all my makeup. Even when I was younger, I noticed it. So I would just like again, or I would use Vaseline or any kind of oil thing to take everything off. And then I would wash it again. So I double cleanse right now with... Um, an organic virgin coconut oil. This is one from Marks and Spencers, which I bought while I was grocery shopping, but it really doesn't matter which brand you can get coconut oil from anywhere. As long as it's virgin and organic, then um, you're going to get all the benefits from the coconut oil. Um, the reason I use coconut oil instead of one of the kind of um, skincare branded oil cleansers is just because I know it's super natural and um, I'm not someone who only sticks to natural products. So with this, because it does a good job and it, and it can be natural with any kind, anything without any synthetics or nasties, why not? Um, and it's super cheap. So I massage this, which is a really nice feeling all over my face. Um, I really get in there and it just melts all the makeup off. And then with a cotton pad in upwards motions, I start taking the makeup off uh, with the coconut oil. After that, I then use a kind of foaming face wash and I and the brands that I use vary. Right now I'm using the Neogen Green Tea Real Foam Fresh Face Wash. And I got this because I like some other things from the brand, so I thought I'd give it a try and it's lovely. But I actually think if you're gonna spend any money um, or you want to distribute your money in a clever way, um, that the, the face wash um, doesn't really matter that much because it's not staying on your skin. So sometimes I even buy like the simple face wash from Boots, which is like five pounds, I think. And it, it, I mean, it's lovely to use beautiful face washes. And if money is no object, totally go for it. I also like the fresh one. Um, I like the Barbara Sturm one. Um, but if you um, wanted to save money on skincare, I would say save it in the face wash department because once it's, you've washed your face, it's off and it's not, nothing in it is staying on your skin. So the, that's the way I cleanse my skin. And then after I cleanse, if I exfoliate about three to four times a week, if it's an exfoliating day, I will then take either this Barbara Sturm Enzyme Cleanser, which is kind of like a powder that you fluff up with water and it just really kind of like gets all the dead skin cells off and my skin feels so lovely and clean afterwards. Um, and this is, I think it's about 50 pounds um, and there's quite a lot of it in there. Or I use the Neogen and I found these in Singapore but they have them on net porter and they're not too expensive, I think 20 something, uh, Gauss peeling. And they're just little um, pads filled with um, AHAs and glycolic I think and this is maybe a bit of a deeper exfoliation really kind of like takes all the dead skin cells off in your skin and it smells they smell quite lemony and your skin's really kind of flesh fresh and glowing after these so I really like them and quite reasonably priced um, and that there's two sides to it and one of the sides um, the texture really feels like you're get, like sludging off the dead skin it's, it's a lovely feeling actually um, so if I'm exfoliating, Barbara Sturm or the Neogen uh, peeling gauze pads and gauze, not gauze, gauze pads. Um, and if I'm not exfoliating or after exfoliating, I then use this toner. Um, so I found this in Singapore. I, I Basically in Singapore, every girl I met with nice skin when I was out shopping or wherever because they do have amazing skin like I met so many girls with amazing skin there I'd say you know what do you use just tell me everything um, and they a lot of them all said this so this is the Sun and Park Beauty Water and this is also a kind of added step in cleansing and exfoliating both it melts any extra makeup or dirt off of your face and it's I'll just read what they say. It's a cleansing liquid based on natural plant therapy and it, that exfoliates and moisturizes the skin at once. So it's just that final step 
Um, and I would also use this after exfoliating or just after a regular cleanse. And again, with a cotton pad. Um, and I bought this, um, my newer one, once I came back from Singapore, because the first one I bought was this mini one um, from Amazon. Um, so after that, I am now an essence person. So I've been hearing about essences for a while. I didn't really get it. And now I so get it. This has actually shrunk my pores and made my skin more glowy, more perfected. This is a major part of Asian girls' skincare routines, and now I get why. So there's also another essence called the SK2 Essence, um, and it's kind. this is kind of a copy of the SK2 Essence, and the main ingredient is the, I'll try and say this property, properly, the, Galacto, the Galactomyces, and this one's by Secret Key, and it's called the Starting Treatment Essence. I bought mine in Selfridges. Um, and I meant to get the SK2 one, because that's the one that I most commonly heard about, but couldn't find it in the UK, um, although I'm sure I could have if I was patient and looked online. And when I looked at the ingredient list, this had the, the almost identical ingredients in the first three, which are the main ones. Um, so this is kind of a cheaper version. It's 30 pounds as opposed to 120, which I think the SK2 one is. Um, and this is, I really recommend getting an essence. And I don't put this on with a cotton pad. I put it on the palm of my hands and just like like this so that I get maximum absorption because when you put it on the pad, you do lose um, a lot of the product. However, twice a week, I've, I use the Salawasu First Care Serum, which is similar to an essence. Um, and just because this seems to be very... Um, hydrating so if my skin's feeling dry i trade this for this but if i if you were going to get only one definitely the galactomyces one um this i bought because in singapore again this was another thing that everyone kept saying you need this in your life so it, it is really nice so after i use my essence if it's the daytime i will then head for this and i think everyone knows about this it's the skin cuticles ferulic serum and it's um i guess it's a type of antioxidant it's a very strong effective antioxidant it will just help unify your skin tone protect against oxidative oxidative damage um, and it's very anti-aging so i'll put that on my face and tap it in i try and keep this in the fridge um because apparently that helps any antioxidant last longer um and then after this or even before this i will use the aox skin cuticles eye gel I found out about this actually from Huda Beauty. Um, she kept saying that every girl should have this and it just gives this extra beautifying thing to the eyes. And what I've noticed is it, it smells so strongly of coffee. Um, so obviously there's a lot of caffeine in it. Um, and it does kind of this thing of, you know when you exercise, the blood here um, shifts because obviously your circulation is rapidly turning over. So the stagnant blood moves. And it really reminds me of that. And I, I really feel a kind of lift and a dim, like a lessening of the darkness under my eyes from this. Um, so I really recommend this. It, it, I think Huda Beauty was right. It does give a really beautifying effect um, and it was worth it. I think this is a hundred pounds roughly and this was about 70 um, and really like them both. Then if I'm, if I'm doing like a moisturizing thing, this is the nicest hyaluronic serum I found. And when I wear it, I get so many compliments. You might notice they're mini ones and that's because they're testers because the actual bottle is so expensive. I've actually put off, I put off buying it, but this is the Barbara Sturm hyaluronic serum. And I will eventually have to cave and buy the big one because I love it. It just makes you glow so beautifully. A lot of people like using it at night because it does give you a lot of shine. So if you don't want a high shine look in the day, you can use it at night instead. But I actually like the shiny look um, and I love, love, love this. Um, and then the moisturizer I put on top, I thought this was just something um, that like a lot of bloggers um, were talking about in a kind of hype way. I wasn't convinced that it would be that good, but it actually is a really nice cream. So this is the Embryolis. Am I saying it right? I don't know, but I'm sure you guys recognize it. And I like this if I'm going to wear foundation because the foundation seems to um, go on quite nicely with this and it's very hydrating. But I also equally love the Clodopur La Creme. 
um, which is really, really beautiful. It's such a beautiful cream, but it's so expensive. It's 500 pounds. Um, and so, so I can, some people might not want to go for that one as an option. And I would, I would honestly say the serums are probably more important than the cream. Um, and after I put the cream on, I like to, after I finish my makeup, use this. It's I recently got it, but it just gives a really nice um, sort of dewy finish to the skin. And this is by Tatcha. Tatcha? Tasha? Yeah. And it's the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It sets the makeup and it also just keeps the skin looking really hydrated. So that is my skincare routine um, in the daytime. At nighttime, three times a week, unless I'm taking a total retinal break, this is my retinol cream this isn't my tretinoin I, fin I think i finished my tretinoin and this is just a prescription um cream that was five pounds from um the pharmacy and um it does a great job i mean ret retinol um tretinoin is better just speeds up cell renewal um really clears out um any impurities you might have underneath the skin and is, is basically extremely anti-aging because it makes your cells renew at a, a rapid rate also pr makes your skin produce more collagen um similar to the way we might have done in our sort of late teens early 20s so when you first start using this um i could do a whole separate video on this but you will flake a lot you'll shed a lot it's like you're you're a snake and all the old skin comes off and underneath is this beautiful skin but then when your skin gets used to it all the downtime goes away and um it's i i, I mean i know some people are really against retinol um and there are arguments for and against it but i i think retinol's a, a really great product and i use it three nights a week and if i have a breakout nothing clears out my breakout more than that uh, on nights when I'm not using retinol, I like the ordinary cold pressed rose hip seed oil, which apparently has a natural and um, soft form of vitamin A, which I like the idea of. Heard really nice reviews and my skin seems to really like it. So that's what I'm using at the moment at night. Um, and it's lovely because the ordinary isn't expensive. So, you know, all this stuff costs a lot of money. So it's nice when you find something that's reasonably priced. I think it was seven pounds or something. And I ordered uh, that one from ASOS. Um, and that is my skincare routine, guys. Um, I hope I've explained it properly. Um, I also sleep. Um, and loads of people have criticized me on this too when I post it on my Instagram. Um, I've been doing this since I was a teenager. When I go to bed at night, I pat a bit of Vaseline um, right around my eyes. And I do that because I believe that then when I'm sleeping on my side, on the pillow, it's not tugging or pulling the skin as much because my skin is so slippery because of the Vaseline. So in my experience, it really works. I do have fine lines, but they don't go beyond here. And I think a lot of that is to do with less tugging at night. Um, so just simple Vaseline. Um, and that is definitely it except for the final thing which is um the the multi repair oil which is super hydrating so if i feel my skin's super dry i i'll drench my skin in this at night for example instead of the rose hip oil and i really love this it's a really lovely product um so that's it for products and then i also want to talk about steaming so if you have access to a gym where your whole body can get steamed that's great it's so good for you if not Pour boiling water um, over just a big pot with a towel over your head. It really cleans out your skin. Um, uh, and I do that about twice a week. And it's a really, really important thing to do for your skin, I think. My mum had me doing it since I was young. And then put an ice pack afterwards just to close the pores back up because the heat obviously opens them. If you can go for a sauna or steam once or twice a week, that's even better. Um, but if you can't or you don't have time, um, I mean, I do that one at home quite a lot. So that's it, guys. I do use a lot of gadgets for my skin, but I'll do a separate video for that because otherwise this video will just be so long. Um, and I, I hope that was helpful. And thank you so much for listening. <laughs>